What's poppin' ladies and gentlemen, my name is Cam and I am bringing to you guys a third reselling tips video and in this video I'm going to show you guys how exactly I photograph my clothing. So last video I did not receive a comment on what you guys would like to see in this video so I went ahead and chose this as my own topic to show you guys. I feel like it's very important and I think everybody needs to know how to take professional pictures especially if you're listing on eBay. I've been a full-time reseller for 8 to 10 months now and I'm here to show you guys tips and tricks on how I photograph off my clothing and get it prepared for listing. Throughout the video, I'll show you guys the exact supplies and materials and also equipment I use to take these high-end photos. If you guys do enjoy the video, definitely hit the subscribe button down below and I will catch you guys in the garage where we will begin photography. All right guys, so we have made it in the garage and this right here is the money making machine. This is actually my photo box and I put my piece of clothing here and all these lights right here just shine right on it and when I take a photo, it becomes a flat lay surface. So basically this photo box, I think I got it for around $300, $350. It is quite expensive, but of course guys, it's an investment into your business. So like I said, you would purchase that and on top of that, this flat lay surface in the back is actually from Michaels and it's like a like a picture frame and all I did was put some material on top of like like a piece of cloth and you can actually buy that all at Michaels so really really good investment so when taking pictures of my clothing guys this is the piece we're gonna do first psycho bunny you guys probably seen it in my last video I'm gonna be taking pictures of this piece inside of this photo box but before I do any of that this needs to be described into my Excel worksheet but I will do a separate video on that later but in reality this piece must be described with the size tag and also what material it's made out of all in my computer and then once we do that we will end up taking pictures usually if I have a huge stack of clothing I'll describe them all at once in the computer and then take photos in here all at once because it just is quicker like that so guys for taking pictures with my setup i personally just use my iphone if you own an iphone the camera quality on these are honestly just amazing you could invest a lot of money into a high-end camera but for right now if you're just starting out or if you're you know i'm only a year into this I'm using an iPhone and it does me a very, very well job. All right guys, so I'm going to set up this piece in this box and show you guys how I do it. All right, and just like that we have it set up guys, so take a look at this. So this is the piece right here guys, honestly if you take a picture it just looks like a flat lay. Obviously looking at it from here it's actually at an angle as you guys can tell but that helps out with your back because you don't want to have any back pain doing this. So guys when you have the clothing here you might notice a little flaws with these lights because these lights do point out a lot of things. You can see stains, you can see anything. But on this shirt however it looks like we do have like little pieces of hair on it. So the best way to remove those is honestly a lint roller. Yes guys these things are so cheap. Go to Walmart you get like a pack of two for like three bucks. So definitely definitely get these. On top of that I also have scissors here. These are just to like take off little strings on the sides if there's any and of course I also have a fabric shaver right here this does an amazing job if any of the clothing is like like flailing on any of that so this thing is really really good and voila just like that, we have finished lint rolling it and it looks like a really, really good piece of clothing. So guys, we have set up the piece of clothing. There's no flaws. We are good to go to take these pictures. All right guys, so for the first step of photography, you wanna go ahead and get the clothing ready to be photographed and also you wanna pull up your phone here and when you go here, you can go to the settings right here where it says 4-3 and you actually wanna make it a square. When you do this, eBay likes photos better when it's a square and it comes out just like that. So you wanna go ahead and do that for all your photos. This is just a general idea of the photos I take. So I would take one main one here. I would take one of the logo. I would definitely take one of the size tag, the sleeve as well and maybe just a body picture in general. And then after that, I would also take a picture of the clothing tag inside the piece of clothing because this is very important. A lot of people overlook that, but it's very, very important. The clothing tag I'm talking about right here is actually a material tag and usually most clothes has it on the inside and usually it'll tell you the material of the clothing. And this is very important. A lot of people do overlook it, but like I said, take the extra second just to take a picture of this tiny tag. It'll be worth it. The more pictures you have, the better experience it is for the customer. 
So this is actually something that's pretty important. I found this out recently. This ruler right here is actually from Reseller. You can go on his Instagram, Reseller Ruler, and I'll link it right here. But actually, look at this. This thing measures the length and the chest dimensions all in one go. So you can just snap a photo of here, and me personally, I snap a close-up here as well, and then also a close-up there. Measurements are very, very, very important to your listings, and make sure you get these photos. Also guys, I like to take around 10 to 12 photos per listing. Yes, 10 to 12 photos. It is a lot, but it is well worth it for your customer. And guys, of course, the last part we have is just flip the clothing over and then take the picture of the back. Honestly, I just take a picture of the back. If there's any designs, like there's any design up here, here, wherever, I'll take a close up of it. But since this is a plain shirt, we will just take a picture like this. Just got back in the studio, guys, and we have finished photography for that piece of clothing. And I hope you guys have learned something in this reselling tips video. I think photography is very important to the reselling aspect, and I think having this knowledge for it is very important. The more pictures you post on your listing and the more high end they are, they will attract more customers than somebody else. And this is very important to you guys. Definitely make sure you guys' photos are very, very high end and that you do take time to clean your clothing. Understand that selling on eBay is not easy. It definitely is a job and you have to work and put some time into it. Doing these things will allow you to ensure customers have validity towards you guys' product and also that you guys make these constant sales. Selling on eBay can definitely be a challenge, but not having this knowledge of how to take professional photos and not only that, but to be able to run your business at a professional level is very important. I think everybody needs to know this. I've been a full-time reseller for eight to 10 months now and I strictly sell on eBay mainly and I'm here to show you guys these tips and tricks on how I run my own eBay business. If you guys did enjoy the video, definitely smash the like button down below Below. And if you did learn something, comment down below on what you would like to see in the next reselling tips video. This will determine the content I will put out to you guys. Thank you so much for giving me your time about watching my video. I appreciate it so much and I will catch you guys in the next video.